Okay, there's CJ. All right. Hello, everybody. I'm Mrs. Q, and welcome to Try Time. Sorry about the last minute change. Um, unfortunately, YouTube switched their rules again. And so, in order to go live, you have to have 1,000 subscribers. I know, right? So, um, if you're out there and you're listening or you're watching, I need y'all to go on over to Kimberly Mines' channel, Sandra Covington's channel, Carmen Hawkins' channel, and even M Square's channel. If you're not subscribed yet, I need y'all to go to those channels and subscribe because that is our try time line up. Um, so I need y'all to get there and get my sisters back on try time. You know what I'm saying? You heard me. I'm just saying because try time is sharing. Sharing the love. So we need those sisters back on try time. So we need them to get a thousand subscribers. So um, if you already subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, if you're not subscribed, Go on ahead and hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell so you know when those ladies are on. Okay? So, again, we need y'all. Come on, people. Let's lift our tribe sister up and get her back on live. Okay? All right. So, good morning to everyone. I hope everyone is having a pleasant and wonderful day today. And um, I just want to say hi to everybody. Hi! <laughs> okay, unfortunately, I, I really don't have time right now to go down the road. I am filming on my phone. I mean, hey. I'm so thinking about giving me a new phone, but I don't want to pay that price for it. So we might have to just go ahead and um, suffer a little bit longer. Now, don't get me wrong. Okay, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. iPhone is awesome. So it's Samsung. I have a Samsung phone longer than I currently have had an iPhone. And I must tell you, the way they make phones now, after so many years, they push an update and your phone stops working like it did. I'm just saying, for real, for real. Because I had my Note 4, honey, until NoteGate. For real, for real. My old Note, I still have it, but I would have, I would have continued to have it if NoteGate wouldn't have happened. Because when they pushed that last update, that's when my phone stopped working. Unbeknownst to them, I had already bought the Note, what was it, 7, 8, whichever one it was. I think it was 7. I had already bought it. I had a Note 4. I had already bought it because of the pretty blue and gold color. Y'all remember. But anyway, like I said, nowadays it seems like after so many years, they push an update and then your phone start acting funny. iPhone included. I don't know what's going on with iPhone, but iPhone is the number one brand that doesn't really listen to its consumers. And basically, every move they make is about money. And we're not going to turn that into that. We're going to get back to trial time. But I'm just letting y'all know the reason why my camera is looking kind of womp, womp, womp. So, y'all can tell when I film on my phone, which is why I stopped filming on my phone. And unfortunately, my iPad is dead. <laughs> yeah, I made some videos last night. So it's dead, and I wasn't prepared this morning. So let's get on with trial time. So for those of you who are just joining me, the reason for the last-minute change is because YouTube changed their rules again. <clears throat> and now you have to have 1,000 subscribers in order to go live. Womp, womp, womp. For real, for real. So, unfortunately, my sister couldn't go live this morning. And like I was saying, let's get our tribe sisters back on live, okay? So, if you are not subscribed 
to Kimberly Mines, Sonja Covington, Carmen Hawkins, and M Squares. When the live is over with, or if you know how to switch and come right back, I need y'all to get on over there and subscribe to these ladies so we can get them up to a thousand subscribers. <clears throat> excuse me, so they can come back on live for trial time. Otherwise, until then, it's just going to be the trial sisters that can, or we'll probably um, work something out. I, I don't know right now, but wait a minute. I had a message. It went away. All right. So, can one of my tribe sisters uh, please go over to Sandra Covington's channel and tell her if you can see her? That That's the message I saw. But anyway, moving on. Mm. It is time for tribe time. Y'all already know that um, when I come on, I'm going to try to free your mind and convince you to do something that more than likely you haven't done yet. Or if you have done it, convince you to do it more. <laughs> so, this is for everyone out there. Okay? So, again, good morning to everyone who is here for trial time. And don't forget, we need a thousand subscribers in order to go live. And I'm going to say this again at the end of the video. So make sure you get on over to um, Kimberly Mines, Sandra Covington, M Square, Carmen Hawkins. Make sure you thumbs up. I'm, I'm not thumbs up. The, well, thumbs up the videos, yeah. But make sure you subscribe because we have to get them back on live. If y'all love Try Time, y'all love the lives, y'all love the content, this is what we have to do to get them back on, okay? All right, so let's get started. Today is April 6, 2019, and it's time to free your mind about TJ Maxx. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, okay? I'm going to tell you what had happened. See, what had happened was... I'm not a stranger to TJ Maxx. I'm not a stranger to Marshalls. They're both kind of in the same family. Well, they are. They're owned by the same company, okay? So, I'm not a stranger to either store, okay? Because when I was in Augusta, they had one TJ Maxx and one Marshalls. For real, for real. One TJ Maxx and one Marshalls. That's it. And um, depending on what you were looking for, that's determined which store you was going to. When I lived in Augusta, Georgia, TJ Maxx was the store if I needed to find some light for my house, some nice clothes for my nephew, things of that nature, I went to TJ Maxx. If I was looking for some pots, pans, housewares, um, even sometimes some nice blouses, because every now and then, they have stuff in there for us fluffy sisters, mm -hmm, for real, for real, I would go to Marshall's. They always had um, Cafflon, and I love Cafflon, and um, we ain't going there. So, here, now that I live in a metropolitan area, and what I call a metropolitan area is a large city, okay? You know, like Atlanta, Houston, Austin, that's, a metro that's what I call a metropolitan area, okay? So, now that I live here in San Antonio... OMG! The shopping is endless. You have more than one store. And here we have at least four TJ Maxx's. Um, there's another one on the way to the outlets. But yeah, four. I have two on the way home and two Marshalls on the way home, depending on which way I go. Yeah, three actually on the depending on which way I go. So I was minding my own business one day and the closet dive inboxed me and said, you need to run to Marshalls or TJ Maxx because it is raining doonies. <laughs> okay. That's what she said. That's what she said. So I, I said, she'll tell you, I said, not mine. <laughs> I 
was like, mine don't normally have crap up in there, especially the one by the rim. I, mine don't have nothing up in there. She said, no, 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 for real, for real, you need to go. Okay, cool. So on the way home, I stopped at Marshall's. And mm, I'm missing a bag, but I found a gym bag, and it had a couple of things in there, you know, more than what they normally had. So I said, okay, okay, okay. okay. You know, then she showed me a couple of things that she found. So I was like, oh, well, you know, since Marshall and TJ Maxx owned by the same company, let me stop at TJ Maxx too because every now and then she tells me what she finds at TJ Maxx. So I figured, why not? So I went to the TJ Maxx by the rim. And wouldn't you know, I found some nice, lovely treasures. So, yes, I did buy a couple of things, and I went live right then. I, I had lost my mind. I just went live. So, that video is on this channel. So, it, later on, if you want to see what I actually saw that day, you can go back and um, find my video shot with me at TJ Maxx. Okay? Okay. So, anyway, the next day, I said, well, shoot. I'm on the road. Let me stop at the other TJ Maxx on the way home. And sure enough, they had more stuff. And I'm telling you, so then I said, okay, the weekend come, I'm a, it's traffic, I'm going to stop in another TJ Maxx. More Doonies, more Patricia Nash, oh my gosh, more MK. Oh, it was just lovely. So after that, my goal was to go to every TJ Maxx and Marshalls in my area if I was on my way somewhere. I went to Ikea one day, lost my mind, and saw all these other Doonies. So I'm just here to tell you. If you are skeptical like I was and said, not mine, honey, I got a video that I'm going to post later that's going to be comprised of all the pictures that I took. My poor trial sisters, I want to apologize to y'all right now because I think I wore y'all out with eye candy. Okay, as long as we cool. All right, so I'm going to post that video probably later on today just so y'all can see everything that I saw on all of my trips to TJ Maxx. Okay, but for right now, the main thing y'all always want to know is, what did you buy? <laughs> okay, so let's see what Mrs. Q bought at TJ Maxx. All right, now, some of y'all were in For Real Friday when I did the unboxing of the bag. I'm sorry, I have packed that up. I was actually on my way out the house. So it's in the car. Sorry. Womp, womp, womp. Not going to get it. If you want to see it, then uh, go back to my last two lives because it is at the end of For Real Friday and it is um, at the end of Q Mail featuring Macy's. Okay? I'm in the beginning. Okay? So if you watch that video, then you see my Patricia Nash stuff. Okay? All right. So remember I said I had one item missing and I found it. Mr. Q, you are now banned from checking the mail. Or if you check the mail and I have packages, I don't need you to get them out the box. For real, for real. Okay? For real. All right. So, for those of y'all, I'm telling y'all, Patricia Nash is a little bit of country with a touch of old school. So, if that's what you like, then... I need y'all to look at some Patricia Nash. Oh, yes, they make more than guitar straps. Yeah, I can hear him right now. You don't tell me what to take out the mailbox. That's my mailbox. Too. Uh, excuse me, it actually belongs to the United States Postal Office. They're just, you know, giving it to us so we can collect our mail. Mm -hmm, so they won't leave it on the porch. It don't really belong to you. This house belongs to you. The mailbox does not. And I'm going to need you to stop. I'm just for real, for real. This has been riding around in his truck for two weeks. And I've been looking for... Anyway. I don't care what you say. I'm going to get my mail in. Yeah, you get your mail. Don't get Mrs. Q's mail. You get your mail. If it's a package, you leave it in there. Along with the key. I'm for real, for real. Poor postman. He's going to wonder what the heck is going on. All right. <laughs> so, this was the wallet. I bought a wallet to go with my, my set. And, um, it's going back because, yeah, 
this is kind of plain it has a slide pocket on the back then you open it up snap closure id card window and yes it is i don't know where my camera is. okay there we go it is rfid protected uh pause Dooney, why can't y'all do rfid a lot of people are doing rfid it doesn't seem like it's going to cost more but y'all done raised the prices and y'all haven't given us anything in return for those elevated prices rfid would be very nice of you since you raised your prices i'm just saying if you're gonna raise the price give me something in return show me i'm getting a little extra for that little extra money that um okay we back so rfid protected um id card window and you got two credit card slots and a slide pocket under there now this right here is a snap pocket and um you can put things in there um if you old school you probably put change in there <laughs> then you got one two three four five six seven credit card slots over here and two slide pockets okay i thought i was gonna like this wallet but it's not as raised as the other collections so i'm not feeling it it doesn't look as pretty as the other i have a feeling this is a display but it don't matter i'm not in love so it's going back see mr q you gave that one up just in time <laughs> oh yeah he was you should open all these boxes i mean i'm just saying why you got i'm mr q i gotta see what fits and going to be conducive to my lifestyle and if it does not conduce to my lifestyle then i'm gonna take it back to the store oh okay well in that case you can open whatever you want really okay so the one piece and i'm just gonna start off with the piece i didn't buy that much contrary to popular belief <laughs> the one piece that stopped me dead in my tracks and started this what do you call it scavenger hunt <laughs> at tj maxx is what i'm going to show y'all next and um let's see how we gonna do that incoming all right this is my brand new tj maxx willy but that's what i call it let me see what the tags say valino my brand new TJ Maxx Valino in black. Okay. This is the piece that started it all, okay? And this is the reason why I had been looking for a rolling piece you that I could use for work that I could fit my laptop in as well as that it would double for travel so when I saw this I lost my mind went live and it was on from there okay so do you need travel they didn't really have many and the ones they had they were more old school i just said like that you'll see the video i'll show y'all what i saw okay so what i really like about this see this tooling see how it's raised and stands out my gosh that's a different pattern huh been shopping the wrong pattern this whole time <laughs> It don't matter, it matches. <laughs> All you know is you see it's raised, it's beautiful, it's stamped leather, it smell good. <laughs> okay, so it has a tag. It's a luggage tag. All right. And it has wheelies. And here's the, the handle. And this is what I really like about this. Patricia Nash started everything. I don't have to do this 
I could just do this. I'm five, three and a half. Yes, I am. And I don't have to, because most handles come right here. And then you be running around the airport. You try to put another bag right here. And you struggling, trying to roll them. Well, honey, however tall you are, this is going to hook you up. Okay? So it is up here. I could put a bag right here if I want to and still have room to maneuver it around. Sorry, y'all. Y'all can't see it. But if y'all go to my other video, then y'all see it. But as you can see, it glides effortlessly. Darn it. <laughs> okay. Now, on the back, looks like a pocket which it doubles as a pocket and it has velcro okay it has velcro however if i need to put that extra bag up there it has a zipper right here that i can zip and i can put that bag put this over another bag if i want because sometimes you have a big suitcase and this if you're going for business and sometimes you don't <laughs> sometimes it's just this so like i said versatile dual okay but the really really real reason why i bought this is because it has okay don't forget the front pocket i forgot to mention that it's a zipper pocket in the front all of that is pocket okay all right wow really really bought this and lost my mind when you open it up, that big pocket right there for your laptop. Mm -hmm. For real, for real. For your laptop. Okay? So then, you got all that space in there for whatever else you're going to put in there. Even if you don't want to carry your laptop up here, you just want to carry your accessories, whatever, you can put it down here. And it has three pockets on the side. So... What I plan on using this for is when I travel, but car travel. Because I do not plan on checking this bag. All of this will be messed up on the front. So we're not doing that. This is for when I travel in the car. Okay? And um, they also have the duffels. That's what I originally wanted was the duffel with the old world pattern on it. That's originally what I wanted. But the one that Dillard's had on sale, the zipper was messed up on all of them. And they had seven of them, I believe. I was so heartbroken, but that's okay. I got this one. Okay. So, whether it's work or leisure, this will do the trick. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I can't believe I was shopping for the wrong collection this whole time. <laughs> but it's all good. All right. So, there she is. Now, that while they're going back. The other thing I found, um, sometimes I go live on Facebook. And during one of my lives, I saw this Patricia Nash crossbody. And OMG, I said I have to have one, but I didn't want it in brown. I have a lot of brown bags. So, I wanted it in black. So, I said if I ever found it in black at a reasonable price, I was going to go ahead and get it. Well, on my fifth trip to TJ Maxx, I walked in the store, went to take a picture, and before I knew it, there I saw it, and I scooped it right on up because somebody was trying to pick it up. But um, I had my hand on it first, okay? Just saying. Don't get in my way. Because <laughs> I'm very polite. The trial sisters will tell you, I'm very polite. You know, but after a while, after my uh, 10 sale experience, now I'm like, uh-uh. If I want it, I'm getting it. Okay, so this is Miss Andrea. This is what who and what I was telling y'all about last night. This is Miss Andrea Hunter. Yes. 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 Isn't she gorgeous? Okay. So let me show y'all Miss Andrea. 
TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx. T T T T T T T T T J Maxx. I'm telling y'all. Okay. Don't sleep on TJ Maxx. Might not have nothing one day. Keep going back. Like I said, fifth trip. Same TJ Maxx. Okay. So as you can see, it is the tag, same pattern. Now this is the tooled collection. Okay. That other collection was something else. But this is the tool collection. So it matches. Can't y'all see me traveling? Know what I mean? So with me, if I travel with a big, I, I usually have to have a backpack or a crossbody. Okay? So when I'm traveling, car travel, normally I have a crossbody. I don't have a backpack. So let's get on with the particulars of this bag. The only thing I don't like about this bag is this strap because it's so thin, but we're going to have to um, figure out a solution for that. Otherwise, and it is adjustable, y'all. Just so y'all know, it is adjustable. Okay? So, it has two sides to it. This is the front. This is the back. Let's start with the front. Okay? Snap buckle closure. That reminds me of when I was little. Got that little black suede going on. It has one slide pocket here. That's bad. And then it has, it's just where you can put stuff and it has a zipper pocket right here. If I can reach it. There's our zipper pocket right there, okay? I know what y'all thinking. Yeah. So. <laughs> Besides it matching the bag. What's so good about it? Oh, I'm getting ready to show you. The back. This is the back. Magnetic snap button closure. And it has one slide pocket. Okay. So, what you want to do is zip these two zippers down on the side. And bam! There we go. <laughs> okay? <laughs> There's your ID card window. There's a zipper pocket right there with another slide pocket. There's a room for a pen. Then you got credit card slots. Let me see how many credit card slots we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight credit card slots. Eight credit card slots. Little pocket, you can put buds there, change. Now, I don't know what you can stick right here, but you can stick something right here. It definitely won't be your phone, at least not mine anyway. But you can stick some stuff right there. But look at all that functionality. Here we go. Y'all ready? Bam. So, and it only comes open if you unzip it. Not a snap, but if you unzip it. That's the back. This was my Patricia Nash unicorn, and I have it because... The day I met Patricia Nash, I wanted her to sign mine, but they sold out. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. Miss Andrea, y'all. <laughs> All right. So, that's my set right there, which technically I don't need a wallet with that. That's why that one's going back. <laughs> All right. So, that's all the Patricia Nash I bought there. They had a lot of Patricia Nash there, but that's all that Mrs. Q bought, okay? So, let's take a look at the other two things that I bought at TJ Maxx. Now, I'm gonna dedicate this one to Sus What? Sus What? If I'm not mistaken, since what got this bag um, during the 10 sale 
for, at, for her birthday present. And I thought that was a really pretty bag. But I wanted the other one with the ducks. It had the DBs going across it in different colors. Mm, couldn't find that one. And um, I think it's on pre-order on duty.com. Because when they had that sale, a lot of stuff left. Because I wanted that one with the matching backpack. And see with all those different color DBs. Of course, you know, it goes with a whole bunch of stuff. But I didn't find that one. I found this one. So, Suz and I are now back twins. <laughs> This is the Leisure Shopper Patriotic Florentine Leather. Y'all can hear me. I'm going to say it to the other side. Florentine Leather. Oh, this feels so good. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw it in TJ Maxx. Can y'all believe it? It was in TJ Maxx. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They had two, but this was the only one that didn't have a bunch of scratches on it. Y'all know that's my pet peeve. Why people do that, I don't know. But anyway, it is a regular Dunienberg Leisure Shopper. Here's the duck. And on the back, it kind of got the tiger stripe going on. And um, you see the floor right there. It is Florentine leather. Yes, and these are her straps. We got to do the one, two, three. So sometimes, as long as we do the one, two, three, and we have space between the arm, meaning the bag is not in your armpit, then I'm good. I, I've discovered I'm not going to find the bag that passed the elbow test every time, okay? So... Because that was one of my problems with the Leisure Shopper, but I really love the Leisure Shopper. On the inside, on the back of the front wall, it has two slide pockets, red cotton lining. And then on the back, oh, that's the dust bag. And it has a zipper pull. You know, standards do this setup on the inside. So, yeah, I figured, because every now and then we do do stuff for 4th of July, but since we're back in Texas, we'll be visiting family more. So, family, if you're watching, this this will be the bag y'all see me carry on that day. It smells so good, too. Alright, so, the duck, the patriotic Florentine leisure shopper by Dooney and Burke. Yes, it are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay, so I bought one other thing. Well, actually, two. I forgot I had bought this. This is Patricia Nash, and this is from, this is the, what this, look like it say Villa. Sorry, I ain't find my glasses, y'all. But this is basically like a pencil case, and it is in the world map pattern or whatever they call it. So if you, this is for like makeup pencils or just regular pencils or just the whole stuff so small stuff in your bag so it won't get lost and um different things of that nature it's the stuffing in there okay and i'm not taking it out right now so yeah so i always keep one of these in my um when i travel but i just thought it was so cute i bought it as a gift but i can't remember who i bought it for it'll come back <laughs> All right, so the last thing I bought. Y'all remember the Leisure Shopper? Right? Once upon a time, Dooney and Burke had a pattern called Americana. Feet. <laughs> they had this in um, a pattern called Americana. You can either get the white background or you can get the tan background. Y'all know my favorite colors, blues, browns, and blacks. So which one y'all think I was hunting? Ten. So I hunted, 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 hunted. Never did find it. Did not like the other styles of bags that it came in. I wanted the leisure shopper because I knew that I was going to use it to travel. At that time, I wanted it because, well, after. <laughs> Okay. I always wanted to go to Vegas at the time. And I kept bugging my husband to go to Vegas. 
And Mr. Q said, I don't know why you want to go, Eugene. You ain't missing nothing. I'm just saying. He does that when he's been somewhere before. So I figured I'd never go, but I wanted to be prepared in case I went. So I wanted a leisure shopper to carry around some stuff while I was in Vegas. After I came from Vegas, I really wanted the bag. But I never could find it. By then, it was the pattern was retired. And every time you would find one secondhand market, it looked like blue out. Okay? So one day, I was in TJ Maxx. And I promise you, I don't know what happened. And I saw it out the corner of my eye. And I'm telling y'all that shopping cart was on two wheels trying to get around that corner so I can get this thing. So I got around there because I could not believe my eyes when I saw this. Okay. This is the weekender. The Dooney and Burke Weekender in the Americana pattern. Can you believe it? Now, if I could find that shopper, it'd be nice set. But this is the Weekender. I do not even own a Weekender, okay? So let me put the pattern up to the camera so y'all can see. See, there's Vegas, Mount Rushmore, Dunenberg Plate logo plate there's the statue of liberty um i'm assuming that's miami there's what seattle there's st lou there's San, the alamo from san antonio golden gate bridge from san francisco um i mean i i i, I you know there's a hat because I'm a Texan by heart and I'm a little bit country. There's a lay, so that's Hawaii. Oh, did I forget the Hollywood sign? And who can forget the infamous Route 66? Dooney and Bird, this is one of the patterns y'all need to bring back. And what they did was they brought it back in the cosmetic case, but it sold out. I didn't get a chance to get one. Womp, womp, womp. Hopefully it shows up at the outlets or I Love Dooney. You know, but anyway, it has <laughs> feet. It has six feet. I love feet because they protect me. Now, the strap does is not removable, but it's that same adjustable webbing strap that we said you could do your um experimental on. Do me at six one five. Said you could do your experimental on the extra large coordinate set. So if you don't have that strap yet, you can get it from the outlet. You can call and order it. I think they're 20, maybe 25, I can't remember. But they're at the outlets. They're not over $25, okay? So on the inside, it has the red lining. On the back wall, it has two pockets, slide pockets. Then on the back of the back wall, standard Zuni set up basically. Zipper pocket, slide pocket. And da, 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 key clip. Now, this bag does not come stuff. Everywhere, every time I've seen it, it's on, online because other people, you'd be surprised how many people start finding stuff once you post it. Um, they showed theirs, so it didn't come stuff. So we, it's okay to store it like this. Sometimes Dooney ships stuff like this. I think they ship stuff like this that they know is going to pop out. And this is one of those ones. And I think this is what? Coated cotton canvas? Might be canvas. I'm not exactly sure. But yeah. Americana. So this is what I bought at TJ Maxx. And took several trips. But Mrs. Q managed to find something. So now I know the question on everybody's brain is... Well, Mrs. Q, how much did you pay for it? Okay, sure. Let's see. So, for the weekender, retail price is $358. And we paid $129.99 plus tax at TJ Maxx. 
all right? For the pencil case, well, that's what I'm calling it. Retail price is $39. We paid $14.99 plus tax at TJ Maxx. Okay, so have y'all freed y'all mind about TJ Maxx yet? Okay. For the leisure shopper, Miss Florentine Americana, retail price. $398. However, at TJ Maxx, we paid $139.99 plus tax at TJ Maxx. Florentine. Florentine. I'm just saying. For Miss Andrea. Miss Andrea, yeah. Retail price, $199, but at TJ Maxx, we paid $69.99 plus tax at TJ Maxx. Okay. And for the school of the year. Retail price, $349. At TJ Maxx, we paid $159.99 plus tax at TJ Maxx. Have y'all freed y'all mind about shopping at TJ Maxx yet? You you want you want more for your mind? Go to Kimberly Mind's channel and you will see she's found Baldrini bags. For those of y'all who don't know what those are, they're the same company that makes Dooney and Burke Alto bags, and they look very similar. Same leather. She's found those at TJ Maxx. I'm just saying, for real, for real. So, whereas you might not find something the first time, you got to keep going. You got to work hard. It's like thrifting. <laughs> Ask Noble Strength. It's like thrifting. You might not find something the first time. You might not find nothing the second time. Third, fourth, and fifth time, you might find something. So, I'm just saying, free your mind. Free your mind about TJ Maxx. Come on, y'all. Get in on some of these bargains. Okay? All right. So that's going to do it for trial time. And um, don't forget, want more of the trial? See y'all tomorrow on Dooney at 615's channel from 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Trial time will be back next Saturday. However, I'm not exactly sure who's hosting. Come on, y'all. Y'all like trial time. Y'all like the lives. Y'all like the content. Then I need y'all to get on over to my fellow Tribe Sisters channel if you are not subscribed and subscribe. 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 Get your brother to subscribe. Get your sister to subscribe. They ain't got to watch all the time. Just don't hit the notification bell. It's all good. We got to get them back on live. Subscribe. 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 I'm just saying. If you are already subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing. Yes. But if you are not subscribed, what you waiting on? Get on over there to Kimberly Mines' channel, Sandra Covington's channel, Carmen Hawkins' channel, M Square channel, and subscribe. We got to get them up to a 1,000 subscribers so they can get back on live. All right? And, of course, me, your girl, Mrs. Q, we'll be back on Friday for, for real Friday, for real, for real. <laughs> 8.30 p.m. EST, uh, EST. 7.30 p.m. CST. Do we have any questions? I'll do one better. Do y'all have anything y'all want us to talk about on trial time? How about that? We taking requests. Well, Mrs. Q's taking requests. <laughs> oh, all right. So 
if you do, drop it in the comment section. Y'all know me. It'll take me a minute to get there, but eventually I get there. Otherwise, love y'all. Shout out to my tribe sisters. Hope everything's going well for everybody this lovely Saturday. We got a little bad weather here, but hey, can't do nothing about that. It is what it is. But um, it is take back day because I, I can't go to the post office today. I guess I'll have to go one day during the week. But uh, it is take back day and these things got to get back to the store because they're not going to take themselves back. All right, y'all. So don't forget, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> and if you want, if you have any requests for us to talk about anything, Drop it in the comment section. Until next time. Wait a minute, I thought I saw a question. Oh, okay. No question. All right, until next time. Love y'all. Bye-bye. CJ, do you want to say, CJ like, this ain't, this ain't the regular video. <laughs> you say this the whole time. I don't do overtime. <laughs>